Hey everybody, what's happening? It's Pop Freak, and today we're going to be reviewing the Han Solo Carbonite Funko Pop. Yes, guys, it's a pretty sick pop, in my opinion. I do like it because the detail on it is number 364 out of Pop Star Wars, the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back Star Wars. Let me get a close up on the um, right there. But yeah, this is a common pop. You can get this almost anywhere. But um, if you do want to get it, I would hit up, um, I would go to GameStop first, which we can't because of the situation. So I would go online and buy Hansel and Carbonite if you really want this pop badly. You should go to GameStop.com and buy it or go to Hot Topic or Box Lunch. I will leave links in the description below to buy it. So yes, it is a pretty cool pop in my opinion. I really do like it. But let's pop it open so you guys can see how it looks. This is how it looks. I really do like the figure because like the bobblehead on it. It's a really cool touch on it actually. Like I like the paint job on it, especially the front. It would have been much better if they could have like done this a certain color instead of making like shiny like a block. But yeah, that is a pretty cool touch. The face is cool on it. What I would also love to see is I would love to see another pop they make of Han Solo. But instead, like, it's like, almost like, red. It's almost red when he's about to fall out of, um, Carbonite. When Leia frees him. Free. Freeze him, I, I don't know, sorry. Um, but yeah, um, so, I'm gonna show you guys the backdrop. It's pretty sick. It's just like, the, it's like a galaxy backdrop. That's a cool touch. On the back, you can get Princess. On the back, these are the characters you can get. Hold on, I'll zoom up for you. You can get Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, Luke Skywalker and Yoda, Han Solo and Carbonite, and Han Solo and Princess Leia, two-pack. So, yeah, like, Walmart and Target usually get these pops last. So, yeah, I, I really don't know if they're still available. Because available, this is a very sought-after pop. A lot of people are really going. The hype for this pop is good. It's about trending at like $26 PPG, which stands for Pop Price Guy, which is pretty dope. Um, so yeah, um, well, now let's go over the rating. Now we're gonna go over the um rating of like what I rate the pop. So yeah. Alright, guys, so I would rate this pop a solid 8 out of 10. The reason I would rate it that is because of how the the side, the back of it, the top, the back is like just so like plain. This is also bad, but these are some good, this is some good finishing touches on here. The front is amazing. I would love to see the back of it like that. It would have been cool like that, but I do like the paint job. I do like almost like the metallic finish on it. It's really not metallic. It's just like a dark gray, which is pretty cool. Do not get me wrong. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a pretty dope pop. But yeah, um, and let's stand it to a regular size pop. As you can tell, it is a little big. It would have been down a bit if instead it wasn't on like it wasn't on like the Star Wars plate they have. Because Funko would definitely not keep them on the plate. They would probably just make them standing. But you would probably have to do that because it would not be able to stand. But the Star Wars company, or the Star Wars, um, I don't know how to say that, which they were, when they told Funko they can make the products, they said they had to come up bases and they had these bobbleheads. So, yeah. But, does it bobble good? It kind of does, kind of doesn't. And, yeah, so this, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, PopFreakYT. Hit the bell to hit the bell so you don't miss another upcoming video, Pop Freak. And I'm out. Peace. And once you get a new setup, I'm not going to be sharing my face. 
on my bed comes a new setup at you guys. We're going to update it so this should turn out pretty good next video. So yeah, bye guys.